Alright, so we'll continue on here. So, made that uh, an admin, and that's great. So let's see what else we can do with system preferences. All right, so we have accessibility. And this lets you change a few things. Voice control, captions, keyboard. Just individual needs. Screen time, you know, if you want to shut down apps at a certain time. Extensions. So now I haven't seen too much. It looks like just a few different application settings. Security and privacy. This you will only have access to with an administrator. Uh, but on a home computer, you can change these as needed. At work, you know, you have your uh, different SSIDs. Bluetooth, well, you know, Bluetooth is a, it's a nearby connection type. It's not always reliable, it can be funky. Printers and scanners. I don't have one added here, but if I wanted to, I could add my network printer. Keyboard. So, you know, that thing that you type on. Uh, you can change it, different things, text, you know, shortcuts, that's pretty cool. Internal mic. Not sure why that's connected there. Trackpad. This one's really important, um, as if you're not using a mouse, I'm using the trackpad right now. And this is important to look at. You see it does the, it shows you the gestures. Tap with three fingers, secondary click, click with two fingers, tap with one finger. So I have that on as well, and I enjoy the trackpad, I've actually uh, mastered it. So mouse, you know, you can connect the Bluetooth mouse. Displays, this is great if you want to do multiple displays, and your AirPlay for maybe an Apple TV, you go here, you can change the color. You can do a night shift so that at night your eyes don't hurt as much. Energy saver, yeah. it's kind of like in Windows when you want to, you know, save some energy on a laptop. I am using a MacBook Pro. Um, just thought I'd uh, remind you. Yep. So, time machine. This allows you to back up your machine and take a snapshot and then go backwards, which is great. I'm going to actually back it up because uh, this is a personal one. It does not let me set it up. Alright, we can revisit that on another time. Startup disk. This would be my local hard drive, and I'm fine with that, I just have one. Did in time, didn't talk much, simple enough. These are most of the features. Oh, you forgot to mention sound. And it's the alert volume. You can change the different sound effects. So. You know, when you get notified, Mac will 
alert you that way. And I'm gonna leave it on. What was it? Funk, because it's just a default. And it's okay. Input. Testing, testing. Yep, this is the internal mic. Output. The internal speakers. And I'm gonna leave it as is. See what else we can look at. Apple ID. Um, you can use this uh, for the most part without too much help from an IT administrator. <clears throat> so let's go on and see what else we can find. So let's you clean up some stuff. Windows, you can use tags, colors, the App Store. So the App Store is pretty, uh, pretty interesting, and it's evolved quite a bit because now you have the arcade, which they want you to pay for. Um, but there's some good apps out there. For those that don't know, if you want to get into a development, you can develop code for Apple using Xcode. And now this is new, Apple Developer. So we could take a look at that just briefly. Doesn't have the best ratings. Um, I did take a little dab into it, but there's a lot to it. Huh. Apparently this was not rated that well either. But uh, I'm sure it has its reasons. So let's take a look here. For Wi-Fi, you click here and you can see your different networks. For AirPlay, you can also use this. The battery icon uh, shows you battery percentage. The name of your Mac search box. You have stocks that come up here. QuickTime. Surprised they still use QuickTime. Thought that would have died out, but that's great that it's still here. Airport utility that wasn't working before. Music that used to be iTunes, now it's called music. Some information. You can pretty much look into all the different components of your computer. All of these things make up your computer. It is more than just a piece of plastic with some smart stuff. There's a lot of detail that goes into this. You know, well, printers is extra. These are the drives, Thunderbolt, card reader, Bluetooth. There's just so much detail into this the software. I mean, Mac is a very interesting machine. So that's all I have time for tonight, folks. Uh, thanks for watching, and this is a general introduction to uh, basic uh, MacBook functions. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment in the video and thanks for watching.